What's good everybody? Today I'm going to create a custom 808 trap bass using a stock Logic VST instrument. I'm gonna do this very fast, so um, if you wanna go back and see how I did it, just pause the video and take notes, whatever. But the reason why I like doing these custom 808s is because a lot of times when we get these sound kits, we get basses that sound good, but either they're like over compressed or like over EQ'd or they're not in key. And this is a way you can create your own custom 808s so you'll have a really clean sound and it will be your sound because I'm gonna make one today, but you can always go back in and change parameters and make it to the way you want it to sound. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you gotta do is pull up the ES2 sampler, which you go right here. Um, pull up ES2 sampler, which I already have it pulled up. Go to tutorial settings, go to analog saw in it. This is how it sounds. Okay, we need to change that. So we're going to go make this, we're going to make this into a sign instrument or a sign sound. That's how it sounds. Okay, we're getting there. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to transpose it so that we don't have to keep transposing on our keyboard. We can just transpose it um, within the uh, VST instrument. So we're going to go down to about 24. Okay, this is how it sounds on middle C. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is um, go right here where it says cut off two. Make sure that's off. Envelope is two. We're going to go over here to the uh, next one where it says pitch one, two, three. We're going to change that to envelope one. And we're going to turn that off as well. This middle part, turn that off. And we're going to scoop this bad boy all the way up. And this is how it's going to sound now. Sounds like a click kick a little bit. So, yes, you can create kicks in here as well. That'll be a whole nother tutorial. But now it sounds like a bass and a kick together. So in order for it not to sound like that, what we have to do is we have to go to this attack right here on envelope three. And we need to turn this up. The more you turn it up, the less kick it'll be. I usually turn mine to about right there. That's how it sounds. Uh, the next thing we need to do is go down here to release. And this is basically your decision because some people like the short releases when they do trap basses. Some people like the long ones. Um, I like mine's pretty long. Um, so I'm going to set it to about right here. And this is how it sounds when you press the key and release it. And if I pull it down to short, this is how it sounds when I press the key and release it. If I hold the key, it'll stay on as long as possible until I release it. So I like mine's about right here. Okay. Next thing we need to do is the most important thing is we need to go right here to envelope one where it says long and we need to pull this down to about 41. I'm going to say yeah, around 40. Around 41, I want to have it. Okay. 41, this is how it sounds now. Yeah, now it sounds like an 808. Sounds really good. Okay. Um, another important thing to do is put it on mono. Uh, this way, you won't have so many voices. As you can see, it's six voices in there right now. You can either turn this down to one or you can just click on mono. Either one works. That way, when you play uh, several keys and you switch to go to another uh, key, that tail end of that other note will automatically get cut off when you go to that next key. So you won't have that bass rumble. So, so only one key is going to play at a time. Even if you play two keys, it's only going to recognize the first key that goes down. Good. Sounds really good. Now it's about adding effects, which you can add um, hard distortion, soft distortion, chorus, flanger, all that stuff. I don't usually add like a flanger, a chorus, or a phaser. You can, but I don't do that. I usually add a soft distortion right here, and I turn that up to about right here, around about four, five, somewhere around there. This is how it sounds. Sounds really good. Let me show you how it sounds with it on the hard distortion. And 
And you can play with that, but I like, you know, mine on the soft distortion. And last thing that I do is I go right here to my drive and I turn my drive up. And that drive gives it that real 808 trap sound. So I'm gonna turn it up to about 22 and this is how it sounds. So there it is, a custom trap 808 sound made with a VST that comes with Logic Pro. And you can go in here, you can change the settings, do what you wanna do, make it your own thing, make it your own sound. And that's the luxury of having these synthesizers is to dig in deep and make your own sound. So, hey, let me know what you think, um, comment, you know, like, subscribe, um, comment. Let me know if uh if if this helps you out, and um, I'm gonna try to keep coming with more videos. So um yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and look out for more videos. All right, peace out.